Hello and welcome. I'm CJ and I'm going to give you a walkthrough tour of my finished um, aqua journal. This is a pentallic. All right, so here we go. Now there is going to be some strange stuff in here. All right. Um, this was just some random like meditative art like I just start drawing and then things just start happening that's the only way I can explain it no expectations I just go in okay and same thing with this one here um just kind of making these weird little uh whimsical fairy creatures or something i don't know it was just and this one might be a little sensitive uh topic so i'm gonna just go ahead and leave that covered up it's more of a hippie style thing let's just put it that way and here we have my little boho possum I did a short on this one. I think it's I think it was a short. I know I filmed a lot of these I did film like this one, which I really liked how the background turned out. Not so much the little white fur on the cat, but I what I try to do is for every picture that I do do and finish, I try to find something I don't like. Because there's always things that I see that I can improve on. But I always try to say, hey, you know, that, that worked out good. I learned something there. This one, um, I just did some of my swatches in. From the uh, Daniel Smith. Okay, this is a travel palette that I put together. So they are from different companies. Um yeah and i just uh bought an empty travel thing and put put various colors in there that i want to travel with this one i did as a limited palette to test out the daniel smith um essential mixing set and i really love the colors just mix so nicely together yeah Okay, and this was just a random sketch. Um, what I often do is I often sketch with just a ballpoint pen. And then I'll uh, watercolor over it. And these were just like two little piglets that were reunited. Oh, this is my Tuscany Garden one. Yeah. I like how that turned out. Another just uh, meditative art kind of. Uh, this was more of the neuro neurographic popular thing of rounding off the corners here. Which I used the carbon black ink from um, Platinum for this one. And I didn't have any bleed through from that. And this is my little pug. Again, I just used ballpoint pen. Some of that did get on this because I don't think I let it completely dry before I closed it. But that's okay. That's all right. It just makes them look a little bit more dirty. Here I'm doing some practice of my gradients and layering wet and wet. Some of my little short teaching videos. Here I was experimenting with the different types of salt. Like sea salt. Kosher salt. Yeah. And doing a little effect there. And here I was trying out my neutral tint. This was a tonal study I believe. I think. I'm not sure. I do do a video on this one, though. 
And here I was trying out the Burnt Umber from M. Graham. I love that Burnt Umber. It's so easy to lift out of the pan. Yeah, and um, just a bird there getting him a drink. Oh, and here's, here's another one of the piglets that I did. And I tried this effect back here where... Um, I put down the paint and then I put uh, saran wrap and let that dry so I could get that to look similar to hay. Like they're poking their heads through a big pile of hay. Happy little piglets. And um, these are more swatches that I did. Oh, these are the ink tents. Okay. See, I'm glad I make notes because I forget. Uh, the Graphitant from Derwent, I absolutely love these. I think it's because they're more of a muted and I just really adore using those. Here I just did some more random stuff. I think I had leftover ink on my plate and I didn't want to waste it so I just blotched it on there and then I took my pen and kind of did some sketching of like a hot landscape was kind of what was in my brain and here's one I did in this completely inks that I used I really like how it turned out actually I think this one the line work I've got available on my website if you just uh, sign up for email it's totally free I don't spam or anything like that um, you can it'll get sent to your email and you can uh, print this for your own personal use um, this one I love the, the fall apples it's always great to practice apples and round things and just I just had fun with it did a little bit of splattering on it and here's my cow my little Jersey cow that I did I enjoyed it I don't think I had done a cow before but yeah I like that and here's some more of the graphitants here I was just doing more fall leaves, just random leaves, and I did one that was more, more of a moody sunset. Sets a nice mood here for this one. But I am noticing I'm probably going to have to lay a tissue paper in here because it does look like some of this is rubbing off onto that, which is kind of a bummer that's the one thing about graphite I mean I could spray some fix it in on there but I don't always like how that spray stuff works here is some of the Daniel Smith mineral marvels and here's one I paint this is the natural bridge in Arizona I did I had fun with that and I, I really did like the granulation on a lot of these the solidite soda light genuine very nice yeah I like a lot of these paint this is one um, this little rooster here is one that um, I went over to a friend's she's got a little farm petting zoo and had a nice family day out there and I took this picture of her rooster and then I decided to paint him journal him pumpkin patch I have a thing for farms and barns and a little bit of the country life okay and here's some of the mixes that I was trying out I love to journal mixes too um, so and more of my meditative art 
that I love to do. Um, it's kind of like my fallback when I just feel overwhelmed with too many ideas or I have no ideas at all. Um, I just need to de-stress. It's it's wonderful. Um, I do have a video that explains it briefly. I left this page blank because I did want to show that it did bleed through. I used a Sharpie on this one and it did bleed through this paper. That's the only downfall is the Sharpie did not do too well in this book. Um, here I was just practicing some winter um, cloud formations, some ice clouds. I really like how that turned out. Yeah. Okay, and some more uh, swatches of the Daniel Smith confetti ones, and then which I absolutely love this imperial purple. I. I'm have to I'm on a low buy this year, so I mean I'm tempted to buy some, but in reality I really don't need any paints right now. But it's here documented so when I do need something I can quickly say, okay, yeah, I want to try that color for sure. And then my little pink flamingo where I use them to do Here's my little donut study. Just some random. I, I made a teaching video out of this one here. Talking about layering and uh, yeah. and So check that out. I like this. I like the colors in it I think. Yellow, something about the yellow and pink just it's really nice. Here I was just doing another whimsical uh, I don't feel like I do enough florals. I need to practice more florals and botanicals. And I was just trying to make this a fun one. Like a little whimsical guy coming out of that. Here I'm trying. And I didn't do any line work on this. I just went in with the paint. And this is gouache over watercolor. A little daisy and this is uh some papaya that I did oh, I don't know how that got dirty there maybe it rubbed off from there I don't know but it happens I still was pretty happy with the way that this turned out and here I'm trying to practice people a little bit more. Of course, mine turn to, tend to look very um, comic, cartooning. That's the way I like to draw them, you know. You might see in a book or something. It's just a woman praying or celebrating the holiday. Here's one sitting on the beach, relaxing, reading her her book. I like how the cushion turned out. I like how my ocean turned out, but I think I definitely got the perspective of the back of this chair wrong, but that's, that's okay. That's okay. And I think I would have changed the perspective of her feet going out. I don't know. I like it more than I don't like it. So it, it was fun. It was a fun learning thing. And this one, I actually went in, these two, I actually did go in with my colored pencils to do the sketching, which I wanted to uh, show you that I documented in here because I have some um, vintage uh, coloring pen colored pencils that... Um, you just don't see very often. These were my grandmother's actually that I found in some of her office stuff. She had at one time taken some drafting classes. So I had her, um, the dip pen holder. That's also an antique that I use. And um, 
So it's really nice. I struggle with thinking, well, should I use these up or should I keep them? Because they are vintage. But honestly, art supplies are meant to be used. And, you know, um, it's great that I can have a piece of her in my artwork that I choose to use them in. So I documented them here because since I have decided to go ahead and use them, I want to, of course, keep a record of them. Another vintage uh, pencil that I have are the Barrel Prismacolors. Now, I only have a few, and these were the first Prismacolors I got back in the late 80s, early 90s, I want to say. And um, so I only got a few of them. But I've kept them, and I went ahead and documented that here. And I don't work with pencils a whole heck of a lot because I could never really get them to blend well. But I, I did try a couple of, uh, with the baby oil and the alcohol blend. I have to say, out of the two, because at first I thought I ruined this page back here because you could slightly... See, I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up, but at first you could slightly see a bleed through of the of the uh, oil. So at first I thought I ruined that picture, but it, it seemed to dry pretty well. And the same on these where I used the baby oil to blend them. Um, it you could see through it a little bit so it does kind of but it's had two days to dry and so it's not near as bad as it was but I do need to keep that in mind when I decide to use them that they will bleed through and um yeah so that is the walk through of my journal and I want to thank you for joining me and if you're not subscribed, subscribe because I do have some exciting videos coming up. And I usually post about once a week, sometimes twice a week. It just depends. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.